Now anybody that keeps an eye on what's happening in the trade will know that Graves are releasing a new flagship range of rods in the new year called the Air Curves. Now myself and some of the other consultants have been testing these for the last year or so and we all agree that they are a fantastic bit of kit but I'll show you what I've caught on them a bit later. Before Grays release any rod to market they put it through a series of tests just to make sure it's up to the job and it's worthy enough to carry the Grays name. And one of the first tests they showed me is to test the life of the rod and to see how it's going to perform over a long period of time. Basically what they do is they put the rod in a rig, let it bend and flex over a number of cycles, say a thousand, two, two thousand over a period of time, and then test the test curve afterwards to see if it stood up to the task. Now another rig they showed me is one that I found quite interesting. What they use it for primarily is testing the test curve, but if you leave it running it will test the rod to destruction. This is what I managed to persuade them to do. Now this rod you're looking at now is an air curve. Now it's a three and a half pound test rod, so it's, it's one of the top of the range casting rods. Just look how much bend you can impart in it. Now this is physically impossible for a human to put this much bend into a rod, so it just shows how strong these rods are. And Grays have told me that this has broke all records up there, not just for Grays rods, but for rods across the board, because they buy into competitive rods, just to see where their, their rods fit into the market. And just look at the bend on this before the rod finally gives way. And when they go, they don't just go in one place, they shake them three Just to give you some idea how strong the air curves are, this is one of the Grays' main competitors rods. And I can't tell you which rod it is, but it's a very, very reliable piece of kit. And I'm not saying this rod's a bad rod, it's not at all. This is the benchmark. And look where this rod weighs compared to where the air curve is. So all in all, I think the air curves are going to be very reliable rods. The final bit of our process that we never play around and is something called the fighting rig, for obvious reasons. And it really is a fun bit of kit. But it does give you an idea of how the rod will react in a proper fish playing situation. Now I'm told that these rods are so good because of a new technology called Torian. So I went up to Grace HQ in Annie to see what it's all about. Our designers wanted to make a cart rod that was best in class, that could cast to the horizon and yet play fish really well underneath itself and not have any hook pulls. In order to do this, the current materials available to them were not adequate. So we spent some three years researching, looking at different materials, looking at different fibres, etc., and moving them all into a technology that we now call Torian. So, what is Torian? I'll try to be brief, but it's very simplistic. It's a modern material where we use carbon fibres. They are mixed with a resin, but in that resin, there's a whole series of nanoparticles that help bind it all together. These nanoparticles bring a whole host of additions to the resin system and therefore the finished rod. But they vary from inhibiting any micro-cracking, they give longevity to the product, but most importantly, they give an additional strength and balance that the designers have used to improve the rod. If you can use a material that is better and lighter and stronger than the current materials, you can change the balance of the rod. And this means that if you want something that's very strong to cast, you can have it. But if you need something very soft in the tip so you can play the fish, you can also have that. So we've come as close as we can to the holy grail of carp fishing. I hope you buy one and enjoy it. Thank you. Basically what we've set out to do is um, produce what we believe is the best multi-range carp rod on the market. And um, we do get asked a lot about what a particular action of our carp rods is like. So the best way to describe the action of the air curve rod is as a powerful progressive carp rod, which is great for um, preventing hook pulls under the rod tip, and it's also an extremely capable casting rod when you need it to. Basically what we've done is move the power slightly further up the rod and keep the lightness and balance whilst doing that, and the new Torian material helps helps us a lot with that. The air curves come with a new universal adjustable line clip so you can easily choose the position of it on the rod blank and it's very easy to take on or off. You literally just pop the o-ring and then position the line clip as required depending on your indicator setup. This rod is available in three different handle finishes. You've got the standard abbreviated handle here, a high quality full Japanese shrink wrap handle and then you've got a high quality slim cork handle. Now over the past year I've been playing around with two different test curves. First of all I started with a 12 foot 3 pound test because I was fishing some small waters and it really is a fantastic playing rod. 
And I've had a couple of 40s on this rod, including a 43 pounder which I caught from close in on a size 10 hook. So you need a decent rod with a good test curve in order to bank fish in those circumstances. Then halfway through the year I started fishing bigger waters so I moved to these 13 foot 3.5s and, and these are fantastic casting rods. Now I'm told they can cast in excess of 200 yards. To be honest I've only tried them in a real fishing situation where it's, you know, the water I've been fishing are quite weedy. So I've not really stepped down to, to fine monos or, or really thin braids. I've been using mono that breaks at over 15 pounds. And now I've been casting a, a baited rig well over 150 yards, getting close to the 160 yard range. Now for me that is a really good casting rod. Combine that with the fact it's, it's a very good play in action as well. It means it's probably one of the best rods I've ever used. And I've had a couple of nice fish on these rods as well. I've had a 36-12 and a 39-14 and I'm really, really pleased with how these rods are. And I think they're going to be fantastic sellers.